Videos all over the internet are talking about an occurrence of a solar storm in 2024, which will destroy the satellites and the internet. What's this solar storm thing we are talking about? What causes it? Will there be an actual event like this in 2024? Let's explore the topic in detail today. First, let's see what exactly a solar storm is. A solar storm is a phenomenon on the sun characterized by intense bursts of energy, primarily in the form of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Solar flares are sudden, intense flashes of radiation, while CMEs involve massive releases of solar wind and magnetic fields into space. When directed towards Earth, these solar storms can interact with our planet's magnetic field, leading to geomagnetic disturbances. While the dazzling auroras are a benign outcome, solar storms also pose risks. They can disrupt communication systems, affect satellite operations, and even damage power grids. From January 21st to January 23rd, 2024, the Space Weather Prediction Center observed multiple solar flares and solar filament eruptions. The associated coronal mass ejections were analyzed and modeled. Results of this analysis show potential impacts at Earth as early as late in the day on 24 January, with more likely impacts on 25 and 26 January 2024. As a result, forecasters currently anticipate G1 minor geomagnetic storm levels over these three days, with higher storm levels possible, if more of a direct impact or stronger connection with Earth's magnetic field lines occurs. As of now, nothing has happened, but researchers also conclude that the solar storm is a treat throughout 2024. While grazing impacts typically have minimal effects, there is speculation that this event could be an exception. Smaller events related to the solar storm have occurred and have been recorded in the past. Minor geomagnetic storms are common, and medium ones come along every few years. Ones strong enough to damage the power grid or cause power outages happen every 10-20 years, but they largely only affect northern countries, and only for a few hours. The biggest one in recent decades was a 1989 storm that took out the grid in all of Quebec for nine hours. In 1859, the largest solar storm in recorded history struck a lot harder. People near the equator saw the northern lights, and people around the world were awakened from their sleep. Miners living in tent camps in the Rocky Mountains noticed so much light coming into their tents that they thought the sun was about to rise. But, since 1859, humanity has put up a lot more long wires. Telephone and internet cabling, power grids, and even some radio antennas are long enough to pick up energy from such a storm. So, if we saw a repeat of that event today, we'd be in some serious trouble. Internet equipment would get destroyed. Most things plugged in would get damaged by all the current, and the transformers owned by power companies would get burnt up. We could end up spending months or years in the dark without internet, refrigeration, or transportation. Satellites in orbit might experience malfunctions or even be damaged by the increased radiation. Large-scale power outages could occur, affecting daily life, businesses, and critical services. While the dazzling display of auroras would be a positive outcome, the potential risks to technology highlight the importance of space weather monitoring and preparedness. You might be wondering, is there any way to prevent such impacts? Well, governments and organizations take measures to safeguard against such events, including developing resilient technologies, implementing protective measures for satellites, and having contingency plans in place to minimize the impact on essential services. Not to scare you, but we're headed into the strongest parts of the 11-year solar cycle. So, the chances of major space weather events are higher than usual over 2024 and 2025. This makes it a larger threat than it was in 2023. The good news is that researchers and electric utilities are working to better understand and predict the storms, with the aim of either shutting the grid off to prevent damage during the storms or coming up with ways to keep the lights on and protect it. Some mix of the two is likely, as permanent hardening would be expensive and solar storms can be seen 12 to 36 hours in advance. According to many researchers, such a scenario is very unlikely to occur. The purpose of this video is to spread information and not to scare anybody. 
Thinking about the possibility of such an event could help us build pressure and be prepared for every challenge that we are going to face. Do you think we will be hit by a solar storm in 2024? Let us know in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.